Hello, welcome to DIY is my happy place. I'm Amy and today we're going to be doing the three amigos Mexican gnomes. I'm so excited for this video tutorial. And the best part is I am having a guest host today. You got it. My sister is the one who created these gnomes. Now I've done I don't know, upwards of 50 gnomes probably, maybe more. Kind of a little bit gnome obsessed. So my sister did these and they're very different than the types that I make, but oh, they are so cute and so fun. So if you wanna see how my sister made these three amigos gnomes, let's get started and let's have some fun. Hello, I'm Juliana, I'm Amy's sister. Recently, I was hosting a game night with my friends. Now we get together once a month. Whoever's the host prepares a meal and has prizes for the winners. I decided that I wanted to have a Mexican theme and I wanted to have little gift baskets and decided that I wanted to put a little gnome in each of the gift baskets. Now I told Amy about my plans and she asked me to record making the gnomes so I could be a guest on her channel. So I started out by making little feet for for the gnomes and the first one is you see I have never used this air dry clay before so it was a little bit of a learning curve but I realized right away that you needed to kind of warm up the clay and get it to get it kind of smooth so that you could work with it and you'll see that I have to I keep stopping and working it a little bit more to get it to get it warmed up so that it's a little easier to work with and then I made the shapes of the feet now the hardest part I'll admit is getting the, them to match and so you really want to make sure you have the same amount of clay just shape them out to look like little feet. Okay it's Amy here. I know I sound just like my sister Pollyanna even my husband thinks so but I just wanted to jump on here while Pollyanna is doing her demonstration so that I could give her a shout out. I am so grateful for her for doing this gnome tutorial. I think it's so much fun because it's so different than the gnomes that I usually do, but it is so cute and I just absolutely am excited that she would do this for me. So if you'll please, if you'd like to, please put a shout out for Pollyanna in the description below and tell her what you think about the gnomes that she did. One other thing is I actually have two other sisters and you stay tuned. There might be a post with some tutorials from them as well. Now, when I got these, these made, I was like, wow, those don't look like cute little feet at all. They look like maybe elephant feet. So I had to reshape them and, and just play with it. And you have quite a bit of time. There's The clay's pretty forgiving. Once I got what I liked, I set them aside to dry. Now, I don't have on video that I also made some little boots but you'll see those in a little bit when they were finished. Then I, while I was waiting for those to dry, I let them dry overnight, I started on making a sombrero. There aren't a lot of shopping options where I live and I didn't have any way to get a sombrero right away. And of course I was doing this last minute so I didn't have time to wait for something to be shipped. So I had to make my own sombreros. After a little thought, I decided I had some some twine that would work just nice to make little, the little hats. So the trouble was how to make them. So I played around with them for a little bit and then this is what I came up with. It may, may look a little weird, but what I did is I glued it to some glass because I knew it would come off. So I used the top of a, of a glass jar lid and glued that down so that I could get it to hold still so that I could work with it because it's such a tiny little piece of twine that it was, I had to have it secure or I, it just kept moving around. So I, I glued it down and then just started going in circles and gluing. And as I glued, I let the, the circles get a little bit bigger each time I went around. Now, I'll tell you, it took a lot of glue and 
as I was going, I would find that there were places that it wasn't gluing very well and I'd have to go back in. And I was gluing from the inside as much as possible so the glue wouldn't show on the outside. Eventually I got it a size and shape that I liked and then I popped it off the lid and turned it over and then started gluing just straight out a couple times around and then I started going back up. And if you look at the video that should make a little bit of sense what I did there. Then I took some baker's twine that I got at the dollar store, put around the top for a little bit of a fringe. I did go back and I don't show this but I used a, a heat gun and heated it up and got that glue to kind of re reconfigure itself a little bit and squished it around into a shape that I liked and then let it dry. And I had to be careful because I was burning the twine and burning my fingers, so be careful with that, but I did get it where I liked. And then I trimmed off, this with some scissors, trimmed off all of the excess glue and the little strings and whatnots that were hanging out. And I ended up with kind of a cute little sombrero. Now I'll have to tell you, it did take several tries before I got a size that I like because you're looking at it and you're like, oh, that's cute, and then realize, way that's too little. <laughs> so the green one actually ended up being a toss, and I had to make some more, but... I'd like to interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special message. Statistically speaking, only 50% of you are subscribed to my channel. Come on, it doesn't cost anything. Like, subscribe, share this out where you can. Okay, back to our regular channel. After they dried, then I went ahead and painted up my little feet, and they took a couple coats, of paint but they they turned out pretty cute I think and then I ha here's my little boots I glued those to the end of a a curling a curler like you get, that Amy uses all the time from that I got from the dollar store and then I just stuck that in a tube of fabric that I had glued together and I kind of glued to him and stuff there were my legs then I went on to making the little beards. Now, the beard isn't so hard, except the part you need to be careful about is cutting this faux fur fabric. You need to make sure you turn it upside down and cut from the back and only cut the fabric, not the fur, if that makes sense, so that it's still long and fuzzy and stuff. And then you kind of shape it into the shape that, of a beard. And I made a little mustache as well and glued those on. Now the rest of the gnome I did the way Amy shows you how to make them with the sock and the the ball with the nylon for the nose and whatnot. But then I got some fabric and I cut it into a square. I kind of just sized it up against the gnome body and made kind of a little square for the poncho. I had some little trim that I had on hand that I put around the edges of it to kind of finish it off and just glued that on. Then glued the little hat on and the nose and the hair, you know, the drill. And then um, I just glued the little feet on to them. And for the one with the boots, I had to fold the fabric over a little bit, the ends and glue it so it had a nice edge and then glue it, just glued it to the bottom of the little sombrero or the little gnomes. I use these as centerpieces at my party with pinatas. And then after we we ate, then I put them in the little baskets, which I should have shown you. They were pretty cute little gift baskets. They were a big hit and it was a lot of fun. I am so glad that Amy let me be a guest on her channel. You had fun because I sure did. Thanks. I absolutely love these gnomes. Look how cute those feet are. And I have to say, when I first saw those little tiny boots, it just cracked me up. I just think it's so darling, so creative, so fun. It is a blast having Pollyanna as a guest host today. And I'll say this, I never hosted a bunco night with this fancy of gifts to give out for the winners. But that's Pollyanna for you. She is an overachiever, that's for sure. What'd you think? Wasn't that fun? It's so great having a guest host today. So, if you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button.
like and share it out where you can. And I'm going to see you again soon.